Hi there, it's Mrs. Hosick. Today we are going to do Henrietta the Hippo. Thank you, Addison, for the suggestion. All right, you will need a pencil and an eraser. Henrietta is a fairly easy uh, hippo to do, so it's great for my primary students or younger or older if you want to do it. The first thing we're going to do is make the cheeks. So on your paper, I'd like you to make a line just like that in the center here. From there, you're going to make a big oval out both sides, nice and fat. Okay, and see how I'm coming up to there? Some of this gets erased, but you're gonna see what I do. We wanna make it as even as possible. All right, and while we're here, let's take our marker, if you have a marker, and we're going to put in the nostrils. You're going to put a circle there and a circle there, even on both sides, and you're going to put a line over it for the nostrils. All right, now we can make the muzzle part with our marker. We're not gonna draw this part. What you're going to do is you're gonna start probably a point there and a point there. See that? And you're going to draw what you've done before. I'm gonna stop around there so I can show you the next step. Let's go the other side. All right, and instead of coming up to here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to just kind of make a little triangle out of that shape right there. See how we have a triangle left? So I don't want to do that, but what I am going to do is just do part of that first line I did like that. All right, and then we have the shape of the muzzle. Okay, now we're going to give the Henrietta a nice happy smile. Nice big mouth. We want to leave room for our teeth and our tongue. And we're going to put a line up through here and come out kind of like the top of a heart. And I'm going to put a tooth right here. And maybe a tooth on both sides. And there we have our Henrietta's mouth. I'm going to fill this part in. All right. I also erased my lines that were there because I don't need them anymore. The next thing we're going to do is make the eyes. So from where you ended here, you're going to come up and make a nice big eye that comes around and do that on the other side as well. We're going to give it an eyelid. And you can come out and make the eyelash. You can add two or three there. Eyelid. And out. And then I'm going to give a circle, or actually it's an oval, for my eye. And another circle inside for the pupil, or the dark part of the eye, the black part. Little highlight there, little sparkle, little in the eye. And there we have the eyes of our hippo. Now we're going to make the top of the head. So we're going to start over here. We can go right over our eyelashes. You're going to come over and give them a little bit of a square head on the top almost. And down the other side. Now his ears are kind of like bananas. So we're going to come out make a banana and then we're going to add a second line to make almost a second banana all right I'm going to move to my pencil again I want to give him a really big body so we're going to come out here and we're going to make a big 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 circle 
Make sure you have, leave enough room for the toes. The reason I'm doing this is because we need to erase or we need to put the front feet in first. All right. So now we have the body. Right down from here, I'm going to make a V like that. And I'm going to then bring a line down for the where the, the front legs are meeting. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make a little hook like that. And notice how I come down to the same. I'm going to come down a little bit here too. Same there. Try to make this one the same. I'm going to come around here and make a hook. And there's his front legs. Now, we're going to put the toes in. I want you to put the middle toe in first. Nice big circle in the middle here on both sides. And then I can put two smaller circles beside those ones. And there's his front toes. His back toes, we're just going to see a little bit. We're going to put a big circle. Actually, let's put a smaller circle here for a back toe. And then a bigger one. And continue out and make a small one. So we just see his back toes. Now we can actually go in and do the marker on our body. Notice I didn't do this part though, okay, because we want to erase that. We don't want to see the body through the toes. All right, I'm just going to erase this line right here. All right, let's take a look at the finished one. All right, there I have my Henrietta the Hippo. I chose to do mine in watercolor. I gave her nice darker toes. You could make them colorful toes if you wanted to. I also did the inside of my ears in a pink, did my red tongue. All right, you can color this any way you'd like. You can send them on Remind to my, for my students and Messenger to me. Um, I would love to see these. Thank you once again, Addison, for the suggestion. Have fun.